Welcome to Alex Reviews Books. Today, I will be reviewing Kurt Vonnegut's Cat's Cradle. Cat's Cradle is narrated through Jonah, an author who aims to write a book on the single day of the atomic when the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Upon investigating the atomic bomb's main founding father, he is told about a non-existent substance with the ability to change the molecular structure of all the water on Earth, turning it into Ice-9. He quickly realizes this is a substance that could bring about the end of the world. A different assignment takes Jonah to the small island of San Lorenzo in the Caribbean Islands, where he encounters Felix Honecker's three children and a society where religion of choice is punishable by death for the simple fact that it adds excitement to the dull lives of the inhabitants. This is a religion that everyone knows is based on lies, yet still has they still remain faithful to. Kurt Vonnegut's critical attitude definitely comes out throughout this entire book. Even when he's talking about religion, it seems as though he's criticizing modern day religion where people have nothing to prove that God or whatever they believe in is true, yet they still go on believing with their wholeheartedly. I think this is one of the best features about all of Kurt Vonnegut's books, where he always has the superficial meaning of the book, but underneath it is the themes that you really can only get through through discussion, which is why I think this is such a great book for any high schoolers or any college students who are in any sort of humanities class that requires them to do a seminar, to do a Socratic seminar or discussion on because that's really the only way that you're going to be able to get these themes out of the text. But I think this is a great book, um, definitely better than his previous Slaughterhouse-Five. It's not as confusing, it's more straightforward, precise. Um, I commend you, Kurt Vonnegut, for this book. Uh, it was a good read, not necessarily an easy read, but it definitely entertained me. Now I will read you a passage from his book and let you decide whether you want to read it or not. Okay, this passage is from page 17, and it goes, There are a lot of good anecdotes about the bomb, Father. For instance, do you know the story about Father on the first day they tested a bomb out on Alamagaro? After the things went off, after it was a sure thing that America could wipe out a city with just one bomb, a scientist turned to Father and said, Science has now known sin. And do you know what Father said? He said, what is sin? One of the biggest themes that was expressed throughout this book was the idea of questioning authorities, or questioning any preconceived notions. Such like questioning sin, in this case, when Felix created the atomic bomb. It has been very clear throughout the entire novel that Felix was a man of truth and not people. Like the characters in 100 Years of Solitude, Felix expressed his solitude through means of isolating his true self from others. One of his co-workers that he interacted with daily found it hard to believe that truth alone was enough to satisfy oneself. Felix challenged her to name something that was absolutely true. She responded that God is love. However, Felix asked her what God and love were, and she was unable to answer. This just goes to show that many people simply follow what others do without really knowing what it means. This is what I said before when he criticizes people and their belief in religion, where he doesn't think that they truly know what they're talking about and only doing what others are doing, simply following. Um, so that was a passage from the quote, and if you liked it, I highly encourage you to go out and read it. It's a great book, um, and yeah, I really liked it. Uh, hope you do too. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.